All right, we're looking at the Manfrotto B-Free Advanced Tripod. This kit has several items. Item one is the Manfrotto B-Free Advanced Tripod itself. Item two is the all-important mounting plate with a quarter-inch screw. The bottom, there's a twist handle, and you'll notice there's an indicator that point, points uh, on which side the lens should be. Item three are a pair of Allen keys inside this plastic bag. And here's the other one. And then item four is the manufacturer's operating instructions that are also in this plastic bag. And item five is the padded travel bag. Okay, so in terms of storage, the tripod is actually folded upside down. So here's the top, and here's the bottom of the legs. Okay, um, you notice each leg has a slide lock. So to fold or unfold, you might need to push and slide the lock downward in the direction of the foot of that leg. Okay, and I'm going to fold it. So again, here it is. I'm just going to adjust the camera right side up. Now, if you want to extend the legs, it might, the legs might auto lock. If you want to fold it in, you might need to engage the lock. So if I want to extend these legs further, I've got to push and slide the lock down in the direction of the foot, and then I can fold it outward. Okay. Now, if you do plan to extend the legs, each leg has a set of three latches that you can uh, release to extend and collapse the leg as needed. I do recommend keeping the legs folded together as you're determining the ideal length. That way you can make sure you can easily tell whether or not the legs, each leg is the same length as the others. Okay, let's go here. Let's just, and if, again, if for whatever reason you find that you're not able to fold or collapse the leg, just fold the leg inward and then that might allow you to engage the slide lock. Okay. So here is the, the top, the ball head. Okay, so this larger knob controls the ball head. And so you'll notice here on the side, you might have to twist the side of the knob itself to loosen or tighten the ball head lock. And this outer ring, that will, that's kind of like a, like a, a temporary stop. It will keep the current looseness or tightness setting. So if I, for example, I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise to tighten, it's really, it's really hard to move. But if I turn it um, counterclockwise, it's indicated on the indicator, it's, it becomes pretty easy to move by hand. And if I want to like hold this position, I'm afraid it will like because it's pretty loose right now. If I wanted to keep it in this position, that's when you turn the outer lock to keep it locked in that setting. So again, there's, there's two things to turn. This, the inner ring is the, the permanent tightness or looseness setting, and this outer ring just keeps it locked at that position. And then this knob here, it's not really, you can loosen and tighten, but it's really there you go, just loosen a bit and that allows you to pan. So panning is rotating the camera this way, tilting is rotating the camera this way. That's what this large, larger knob is for. And then here is the mounting plate holder. You notice there are two levers. There's a push lever here where my right index finger is. And then while you're pressing and holding that push lever, you wanna rotate this gray lever horizontally where my right thumb is, and that gives you the space to place the mounting plate. So I'm gonna do that. It's hard to see, okay. Right, so let's just say, it seems obvious to say, but you would screw the mounting plate into the camera, the bottom of the camera first, and then while you're holding the camera securely, you wanna push the lever, the bottom lever, 
and then slide the other lever while holding the first lever. And then you place the camera in, well the mounting plate in, so you might have to like turn this all the way as far as it will go. And then you have no space to place the mounting plate. And then release the bottom lever and then release the, the, uh, the circular lever. Just keep it pushing it inward until it locks. It keeps the mounting plate seated. And there we go. That is the Manfrotto B-Free Advanced Tripod.